Apple's iMac lineup has gone through major shifts in the past few years, leaving many professionals and power users wondering, will the iMac Pro make a shocking return? With the rise of Apple Silicon, the introduction of M-series chips, and Apple's push towards modular computing, the fate of a larger, more powerful iMac remains uncertain. However, fresh rumors suggest that Apple could be working on a groundbreaking iMac Pro featuring the M4 Pro and M4 Max. The question is, will Apple bring back the iMac Pro, or is the dream of an all-in-one professional desktop officially over? Let's explore the possibilities and analyze what a next-generation iMac Pro could look like in 2025. The disappearance of the 27-inch iMac and iMac Pro. Back in 2021, Apple introduced the colorful 24-inch iMac with the M1 chip, replacing the aging Intel-based 21.5-inch iMac. This move excited casual users, but left professionals disappointed as there was no larger, more powerful iMac to replace the beloved 27-inch model. Then in 2022, Apple officially discontinued the 27-inch iMac, marking the end of an era for large-screen all-in-one Macs. Instead, Apple shifted its focus towards modular solutions, launching the Mac Studio paired with the Studio Display, a setup meant to replace the need for a high-performance iMac Pro. Despite Apple's official stance that the 27-inch iMac won't return, speculation continues to grow that a larger iMac Pro could be in development. But with Mac Studio and Mac Pro offering extreme power, is there still room for an iMac Pro in Apple's lineup? Why an iMac Pro makes sense in 2025? The demand for an all-in-one professional Mac hasn't faded. While Mac Studio offers incredible power, some users prefer a single, streamlined desktop with a built-in display, high-end performance, and a seamless macOS experience. The power of M4 Pro and M4 Max. With Apple's M-series processors evolving rapidly, a potential iMac Pro in 2025 could be powered by M4 Pro and M4 Max chips. The jump from M3 to M4 architecture is expected to bring better efficiency with a refined 3 nanometers process, higher GPU performance for video editing and 3D rendering, more unified memory for handling massive projects, an iMac Pro featuring M4 Pro and M4 Max could bridge the gap between casual users and extreme professionals who don't need a Mac Studio but still want high performance in an all-in-one design. A 32-inch mini-LED display. A major upgrade Apple could introduce is a 32-inch mini-LED display, bringing improved contrast, higher brightness, and promotion, 120 hertz refresh rate for ultra-smooth visuals. This would make the iMac Pro a dream machine for creative professionals, content creators, and designers who require top-tier color accuracy. New design with slimmer bezels. The current 24-inch iMac still features relatively thick bezels. A 2025 iMac Pro could adopt a more modern design with slimmer borders, possibly resembling the studio display but with an integrated computing system. Will Apple reintroduce a high-end iMac? Apple has been cautious with its product lineup, ensuring that every device serves a unique purpose. However, an iMac Pro with M4 Pro and M4 Max could provide a premium all-in-one solution for professionals who don't want to deal with external monitors and modular setups. Reasons an iMac Pro might return. Growing demand for high-performance, all-in-one desktops. Advancements in Apple Silicon making powerful iMacs possible. Competition from Windows-based workstations. Consumer preference for large-screen Macs with built-in computing power. Why Apple might not bring it back. Apple is pushing Mac Studio Plus Studio Display as an alternative. The market for high-end all-in-one desktops is shrinking. Focus on modular solutions like Mac Pro and Mac Mini. A realistic release timeline. If Apple is working on an iMac Pro, when could we see it? Based on Apple's release patterns, a new iMac Pro could be announced in late 2025 or early 2026 aligning with the full transition to M4, 
Series chips across the Mac lineup. Apple typically unveils new Mac hardware in the fall, so a September or October 2025 event could be a likely time for an iMac Pro reveal, if it happens at all. Should you wait for an iMac Pro or buy a Mac Studio? If you need high-end performance today, Mac Studio with M3 Max or M3 Ultra is your best bet. However, if you prefer an all-in-one Mac with cutting-edge Apple Silicon, waiting for a possible iMac Pro might be worth it. Who should wait for an iMac Pro? Creative professionals who want an integrated 32-inch display. Users who dislike modular setups like Mac Studio Plus Studio Display. Long-time iMac users hoping for a return of the Pro model. Who should buy a Mac Studio now? Users who need top-tier performance today. People who prefer upgrading their monitor separately. Anyone who requires M3 Ultra Power, which an iMac Pro may not offer. Conclusion The future of iMac Pro Apple has yet to confirm any plans for a new iMac Pro, but the potential is there. If Apple decides to revive the iMac Pro in 2025, it could feature a 32-inch mini-LED display, M4 Pro slash M4 Max chips, and an ultra-modern design that would appeal to professionals seeking a powerful yet streamlined desktop experience. While Mac Studio remains the go-to performance machine, an all-in-one iMac Pro with next-gen Apple Silicon could attract a dedicated user base looking for the ultimate blend of power and simplicity. So, will Apple bring back the iMac Pro? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. If it happens, it will be a game-changer.